Hey, what is up nation? In this session, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can get rid of the shadow that is cast on the ground in Lumion. Okay, so I have this little scene set up and you can see here that the uh, shadow is being cast on the ground and I don't really want that in my scene. I just want the shadow on this little diorama. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is render this. So render photos. Uh, make sure that I'm doing, you're doing a large uh, version of this. And all I actually need here is the material map ID selected. So you want to have that selected. And then choose uh, either print or poster. A poster will obviously take a lot longer. And then just put in your uh, title here. So I'm going to call this Diorama. I don't think that's how you spell it. <laughs> Uh, and then it'll render. So both of these is finished, uh, and when they're finished, you can just click Open Folder, and that will bring up uh, your items. Now I'm going to be using Photoshop for this, but you can use any photo editing software. So what I'm going to do is just off screen, I have the uh, folder. So I'm just going to drag this guy. So it's going to open that. And then I'm going to drag the original. Just make sure I put that up here where it says Copy. I'm going to slide this over. I'm just going to duplicate this background really quick so that it's not locked. And then take this guy, do Control A to select all, Control C to copy. I'm going to make a new layer, paste it with Control V. And what I'm going to do is uh, use the magic wand. I set this, the tolerance here to 15. Now this is where the, um, the render quality really makes a difference. So I'm just going to select this, hit copy. And then on this background image, what I'm going to do is come down here to where it says mask, this little add layer mask. I'm going to click that and it makes this little window here. Now with this guy selected, I'm going to hit W for the wand tool. And then with tolerance, it says 15%. I'm just going to select this orange area. Now, because of the way that the angle is, it sees the ground plane as a different material. And that's what's allowing me to use that layer ID mask to do this. So just a little explanation of that. So I have this outside selected, and I'm going to select on the mask that we have here. Hit B for the paintbrush. I have black selected over here. And I'm just going to paint this. And you could probably <laughs> use the gradient tool here as well, or the paint bucket tool. I don't know why I just like to, to do that, even though I'm leaving something open here. Okay, we got it. Okay, so then I can turn this off, and you can see that I have a mask around that uh, area. So if I choose another layer, and I just uh, I hit this layer off, I just selected the eye there. Um, if I choose a different, let's use the paint bucket tool this time. Okay, just choose like uh, this light color we can do something similar and now that shadow is completely gone because we've masked it out so hopefully this helped if you like this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and as always happy hacking <laughs>